How to install Mac OS Sonoma on VMware on Windows Hello everyone. If you want to install Mac OS Sonoma on VMware Workstation, then in this video we will show you the steps to install Mac OS Sonoma on VMware. First you need to make sure that virtualization technology is enabled on your Windows 11 PC or laptop. Step 1. Download and install VMware on your Windows. Step 2. Download and install Mac OS Unlocker for VMware. Step 3. Create and customize Mac OS Sonoma VM on VMware. Step 4. Start the virtual machine and perform a clean installation of Mac OS Sonoma. Let's start. Step 1. Download and install VMware. Open VMware download page in any web browser. See video description for the download link. Open the downloaded setup file. Select Next. Check the box next to I accept the terms in the license agreement and click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Install. Finally, click Finish. Step 2. Download and install Mac OS Unlocker for VMware. Download Mac OS Unlocker from GitHub. See video description for download link. Open the downloaded folder. Then extract it. Open the extracted folder. Right-click on Win Install CMD and click Run as Administrator. It will pop up a command prompt running some commands and wait until it's done. Step 3. Create and customize macOS Sonoma VM on VMware. Launch the VMware Workstation. Click Create a new virtual machine. The default option is typical, recommended. Click Next. Select I will install the operating system later, and click Next. Choose Apple Mac OS X as a guest operating system. After that, you have to choose the version, Mac OS 14. Click Next. Enter a name for your virtual machine. Select Location. Click Next. Specify the disk size, minimum 80 GB is recommended. Select Store Virtual Disk as a single file. Click Next. Here, click on Customize Hardware. On the Memory tab, allocate the amount of RAM. Higher RAM, higher performance. On the Processors tab, increase the CPU processor core. Click the new CD DVD option. Click use ISO image file, then click browse. Locate the macOS Sonoma ISO file. Click open. To save all the changes, click close. Click finish. Next step is, we need to edit macOS Sonoma VMX file. Close the VMware completely. Go to the directory where you have saved your Mac OS Sonoma virtual machine. Right-click on VMX file and open it with Notepad. Scroll down to the bottom of texts. Type this code at the end. Please check video dispersion for code. Then click on File, then Save. After that close it. Open your VMware again. Click power on this virtual machine to start the new virtual machine. The process will take some time. Select your preferred language and click the arrow icon at the bottom right hand corner. Select disk utility and click continue. 
Choose VMware Virtual SATA Hard Drive Media. Then click Erase. Enter a name. Then click Erase. When finished, click Done. Close the disk utility. Select Install macOS Sonoma. And click Continue. Choose Continue. Click Agree. And once again select Agree. Select the drive. And click Continue. Now, wait patiently. It will take a good 40 minutes to 1 hour, depending on the speed of your PC or laptop. Bear in mind that the macOS Sonoma virtual machines will restart several times. Be patient. Now configuring macOS Sonoma for the first time on VMware. Select your country or region. and click Continue. Choose your preferred language, and click Continue. Click Not Now. Click Continue. Click the Not Now button to continue. Set it up later. Click on Skip. Select Agree to Terms and Conditions. Create an account. Enter a name and password. Click Continue. Click Continue. Select your time zone, and click Continue. Click Continue. Set up screen time later. Now, select your preferred look. Light, Dark, or Auto, and click Continue. Finally, macOS Sonoma is successfully installed on VMware. That's it. This is how you can install and run macOS Sonoma on VMware Workstation on a Windows 11 PC or laptop. The installation process was really easy. All you need to do is download the required files and make sure virtualization technology is enabled on BIOS. Hope this video helped you. Please like and share this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Thank you.